everybody. Today I'm going to show you my 11 favorite nail polish shades for the summer. I tried to vary the prices and brands on these nail polishes. So I have six nail polishes that are all under $5, and then I have five nail polishes that are all $8 and above. I'm going to start with the more expensive nail polishes, and my favorite high-end brand of nail polish is actually Essie. I really like Essie because I think the color selection is the best for my personal preferences. Also, it's my favorite because it's much more available than a lot of the other higher-end brands. You can buy it at Rite Aid, CVS, Target, nail salons, hair salons, and Ulta. My recommendations for the best place to buy SE polishes are Target or Ulta when they're having one of their buy two get one free sale. I found that Target actually is about 25% cheaper than any other store and Rite Aid and CVS are usually 25 cents higher than any other stores. So I recommend not buying them at Rite Aid or CVS unless you can't find the color anywhere else. My first pick for summer nail polish is called Tarte Deco and it looks like this. It is a really really nice light coral color. Corals are very in this summer and I like this color because it's not too bright of an orange and it's not too pinky. So it does stay with the coral trend but at the same time it's just a really nice light coral. My next pick is also Essie, and it is from their Brazilian collection they just released. I wasn't really a huge fan of this collection, but I did like one of the colors, and it is this one right here, and it is called Smooth Sailing. And I don't know if you can see that, but it is a really shimmery, dark bluish purple color. And the bottle looks like this. I think this is just a really fun color to put on your nails, or my favorite place to put colors like this is actually on my toenails, so it's kind of a really fun pop of color. My next color choice has been raved about on YouTube in so many videos, but it is one of my favorite colors for the spring and summer. It looks amazing on both fingers and toes. That is Essie's Turquoise and Caicos, and it looks like this. It's a really nice turquoise color, and I think it's really fun for the summer. It's bright, it's happy, and I think it looks amazing with a tan. My next two colors are from OPI. The first one is from the new Pirates of the Caribbean collection, so I know you guys can still find this one in stores, and it is Steady as She Rose, and it looks like this. I purchased this because I was looking for kind of a lilac color, and Lilacism by Essie and Do You Lilac It by OPI were not in stock in any of the stores I checked. This is what the bottle looks like. And if you look at it, it does have a very pink color to it, but it does also have kind of a lilac tinge to it. That is my favorite color from the Pirates of the Caribbean collection. So if you're gonna pick one color from that collection, I definitely recommend picking that one. My last high-end nail polish color is What's With The Catitude by OPI. And I know that it was a limited edition in the Shrek collection, but I have actually seen quite a few of these left in Ulta and Planet Beauty stores. So if you really want this color, I would go out as soon as possible and see if you can find it before all of them are gone. Now I'm going to move on to my lesser expensive nail polishes. My first recommendation is actually from Forever 21, and it is in the color Sky Blue. Looks like this. And I originally purchased this because I couldn't find What's With The Catitude anywhere. Their nail polishes look like this, and I usually see them by the checkout in the stores. I picked this one up one day because it was only $2.80, and I hadn't yet found What's With The Catitude, and this did remind me a lot of that color. These are the two colors actually compared. The bottom one here is the sky blue from Forever 21, and the top one is What's With The Catitude. On camera, Sky Blue from Forever 21 looks substantially darker than what's with the Catitude, but in person it's only a tiny bit darker. So my next color recommendation is a hot pink color. As I was painting my nail wheels a while ago, I realized that I have two different bottles of the exact same shade of hot pink. And the pink looks like this. One of the colors is from New York Color, and it is in their long-wearing nail enamel, and it is in the color 109A. And the other nail polish is a Wet n Wild Mega Shine, and this is in the color Dreamy Poppy, or number 429D. So if you can't find one, I would definitely look for the other. I think hot pink nail polish is a must-have for any girl during the summer. It looks great on both your fingers and your toes. The next four nail polishes I'm going to show you are all from Revlon. Revlon is one of my favorite brands of drugstore nail polish. My first pick is from their metallic collection. It's called Copper Penny, and it looks like this, and it is a beautiful, shimmery copper color. 
This is a great color to wear when you're at the peak of your tan because it does accentuate your tan, but it also adds kind of a touch of glamour to your nails. The next color is Revlon's Minted, and it looks like this. As the name implies, it is a mint green color. I know that pastels are generally considered more spring nail polish shades, but I have yet to find a bright green that looks good with my skin tone. So if I'm wearing an outfit or a bathing suit that has a green in it, Minted is definitely the polish I reach for. My last two choices are from Revlon's Scented Nail Polish Collection. I own five of their scented nail polishes and I had a really tough time picking out which two colors to show in this video. If you guys would like to see a full review on their scented nail polishes, just let me know in the comments below. And the first color is Grape Icy and it's this shimmery purple one. The first thing I have to say about this nail polish is it does smell exactly like a grape Jolly Rancher when it dries on your nails. Lilac nail polish was very in this spring. However, in the summer, I like to have really bright nails. So I picked this bright purple color because it plays off that lilac trend from the spring, but it's in a more bright, fun summer nail polish shade. The last nail polish shade I picked is this bright orange one and it is called Mad About Mango. It is also scented and it does smell like mango when it dries. I think that bright orange nail polish on your toes, especially if you're going to the beach, is really, really cute. So that is it for my favorite summer nail polish colors. If you guys have dupes for any of these colors, please let me know in the comments because I would love to try them out and compare them to the ones I already own. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I'll see you guys again next time.